guys, today we're going to be making a video on how we solve this grub error issue. So this would be either if it just suddenly happened to you when you were trying to boot up your computer, or if you accidentally deleted your Ubuntu partition on your computer. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, so now that we are to our screen, what we're going to do is we're going to type in ls and then you see these partitions right here we have this one and we have this one so what you're going to do is you're going to try to recognize those by typing ls hd0 sorry we need to put a space there hd0 and then we're going to put, press enter so now it says the file system is unknown, then we're gonna try our other one. For you, you might have more than two, so you wanna try every single one of those. So now we're gonna do our L S H D zero M S D O S one. So it also said file system is unknown. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do we're gonna do set we're just gonna set our root set root to equal hd0 comma ms dos1 and if then we press enter and then we now do Set prefix to equal HD zero comma MSDO S one and then we do slash boot slash Grub. And then you press enter. And then you do in s mod normal. So if it doesn't show that error, then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do normal again. But since it's showing us errors, so as we see that this didn't work, that's because our partition was accidentally deleted. So what we're going to do is reboot our computer. And then on a separate drive, you're going to want to re-download the Linux that you had before. So we're going to hurry and go get that. We had you buy too. So we'll be right back. And then you're going to install that onto your computer. Now that we have our... Hey guys, so now that we have our... Linux Ubuntu on the flash drive again. Let's hurry and boot it up. Sorry about that. So we're hurrying and we're opening our Ubuntu. Once our Ubuntu opens, we're going to install the Ubuntu onto the drive as alongside Windows 10. So we're going to hurry and skip to where we're done having that installed. So now we are to the screen, so we're just going to press install Ubuntu and go through the process. Continue. And let me hurry and sign into the Wi-Fi. 
and then we continue. I, I'm just gonna do a normal. We're gonna do a minimal, just, just for, to get this to work. I'm gonna download updates after, and we're just gonna keep that. So continue. Okay, this is the important part. You want to install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10. You want to keep that. So continue. And I only want Ubuntu to be... I only want it to be 75 gigs. So then go ahead and press install now. And then once it's done installing, we'll reboot. Okay guys, so now that we have it installed, we're just gonna hurry and boot up. As you can see, we have our boot up screen, and then now we're in. We have our grub menu back, we have our Windows 10 right here, and we have our Ubuntu back. So we're just going to go to our Windows 10, and that's how you fix your grub menu. If you couldn't do it the first way, then you have to do it this way. Sorry about that, but that's what happens if you accidentally delete your partition.